Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to uh, Sunday. The end of the weekend is just upon us here. We still got the rest of Sunday to enjoy it. It is March 16, 2025, 1033 a.m. That's California time here. Latest activity shows uh, some movement down in the... Uh, let's go ahead and check it out here real quick. Southern California area, it looks like, or Northern California, around the Bay, 1.1. Go ahead and check out what's going on there across the uh, USGS map. As we look at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity here from that agency, the USGS. We got, uh, let me double check my mic. Everything working. Bells are off. Microphone is on. Hopefully it's coming in good. Uh, Southern California area. Let's see here. Got a little swarm going on here along the creeping segment. Uh, Actually, it's south. It's starting to work its way into the uh, Pine Rock. Well, this is still kind of the creeping section here of the San Andreas Fault. But it's getting awfully close here to a uh, little section down here called the Parkfield segment, which is still a little bit further down here. But we got to watch that. That's a, actually a pretty decent swarm there of earthquakes around Pinnacles with uh, looks like a 3.3 yesterday. Continued earthquake, acti continued earthquake activity overnight and even to this morning as well. Got about nine earthquakes in this sequence of events here. So we'll watch that. That uh, creeping area of the San Andreas Fault lets us know that, uh, well, the plate is on the move. So we should watch for areas up north here around the Bay Region. It looks like we are getting a little bit of activity out outside of the uh, San Rafael area right now with 1.1. <clears throat> Northern California, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on up there for now. Further down south across Southern California, uh, mostly smaller microquake activity, but it looks awfully quiet uh, for today. There's only a handful of smaller quakes there uh, in the area, but really nothing of any major interest. Uh, some movement out into Wyoming once again, out around the Little America area. This region uh, had some earthquake activity, I believe, here within the last 30 days. Yeah, actually had a little cluster of earthquakes there. 3.3, 3.2, and the more recent 3.1 out around Little America. Now, I believe there's some type of uh, um, operations out here as far as maybe a... Um, hard to say what that is. It's definitely not a uh, pumping operation here, but uh, some kind of outfit just off the interstate there. Uh, either way, a little bit of earthquake activity. Those are very shallow crustal quakes there at negative 2.1, indicative there that that's just below uh, the surface level here up, up around this region. So it's a little interesting activity. Uh, as far as Yellowstone National Park, we'll double check that, see what we got here before we get too far. Where's my Yellowstone map here? Uh, notice I'm not back on the computer uh, live stream yet, or back at home in the office. I'm um, kind of on location here with Missy Mimi's. Say hello, Missy Mimi's. How's it going, guys? <laughs> She's still here. That's not a robot. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're just kind of out here having a little fun, doing some uh, geology exploring. Uh, not a whole lot of earthquake activity happening there across Yellowstone National Park. It looks pretty quiet there across the area. So, um, Earthquake activity out in the... Mississippi area, that was yesterday. Let me pull up the most recent map here and see if we got anything new popping down there. No, a lot of tornadoes out there, goodness. Over the last couple days, been a pretty significant, severe weather event. And I would say that the Storm Prediction Center there pretty much called this out uh, and nailed it to the T. Uh, only one earthquake there across the Mississippi area. It's quite rare to get earthquake activity down there, but uh, during the severe weather yesterday, that stirred up a three-pointer. Nothing new to report across this area today. Uh, Kentucky area also yesterday seen a 2.2 during the mix of uh, storming out there. It's pretty crazy. As far as the worldwide activity goes, let's go ahead and see what we got here for the largest magnitude here in the last 24. Uh, that's going to go to a 5-pointer down in Chile. After midnight, though, a 4.9 into the Tonga area. This area right here starting to fill in a little bit. Roughly about Papua New Guinea area eastward along the plate boundary here still filling in uh, with a bunch of fours i was expecting this to kick in maybe with a five or even a six pointer in this area but uh, still has uh 
Still has yet to produce that. Also getting a little bit of movement here across the Japan region. That uh, is a mixed bag of deep earthquake activity. A little bit, uh, actually they're all from today. Got to watch the uh, Curl Camp Chatka Trench here uh, for some mega quake activity. It's been stirring up recently with some deeper quake activity. Now getting some, uh, uh, some adjustment further down south here. Might be leading to something a little bit bigger out there in the region. So keep an eye on that. It's a major subduction zone there just north of the Japan Trench. Uh, New Zealand, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot showing up on the map. Uh, and the Earthquake 3D Globe is uh, what you see here. That's uh, the USGS model. Some movement out here across the, uh, looks like that's around the Santorini area of Greece. So uh, let's see if I have that on here. I do have it on here. That 4.3, I believe, was down here, though. 4.6, excuse me. That's way south of Santorini along the plate boundary. The Santorini area of volcanic activity or earthquake activity uh, is still going down in the counts, but we're still seeing earthquake activity on a daily basis. Nothing new to report, though, in terms of any elevated activity. A uh, quick glance here at space weather activity from solarham.com. Got uh, a whole lot of nothingness going on. Not seeing any major flaring, no major roars in the forecast. And a quick glance at the magnetogram image. I'll do my forecast here for the space weather. And uh, there's, like I say, there's not a whole lot. I had my hopes up here for this area, but it's starting to, uh, well, it's been kind of stabilized here. It hasn't really been growing. Not a whole lot of complexity there within that region. So, um, you know, the flare threat right now is quite minimal. We'll be lucky if we see an upper C flare, uh, let alone, you know, X flare or M flare. Probably not going to happen. So, all right, uh, quick glance here at the Storm Prediction Center for severe weather. Uh, all that severe weather that's been happening there across the Midwest and the South has now shifted way to the east and northeast with an enhanced area today. Uh, for some, uh, looks like some tornado activity up there, wind, and uh, maybe a little bit of hail threat, uh, hail threat limited to the south area of that uh, severe weather. But uh, just a heads up, got uh, that uh, potential there today. Uh, as far as the storm reports over the last couple days here, uh, quite a few tornado reports here from yesterday. That uh, is on the 15th right there. Got 34 reports of tornadoes. That's not including the previous day, so it's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty uh, eventful system, to say the least. A lot of damage being reported out there as well. Got uh, what looks like maybe uh, another system coming in here, stirring up a whole bunch of wind across Texas and the, uh, the area that just got through dealing with some dust out here across the panhandle. That, uh, see these tight lines right here on the graph? That's some strong winds here between uh, uh, with pressure differences, so that's going to stir up maybe some more dust in the air. Um, I know for you know for a fact if you see a dust storm off in the distance and it's headed you know you're headed in that general direction on the interstate, I would avoid it at all costs. We've seen what's happened here in uh, Kansas and also the Panhandle of Texas here recently with a massive car pile ups there due to uh, very minimal visibility due to the blowing dust out there and sand, like sand and dust. Um, so that's coming in, it looks like, on uh, Tuesday into Tuesday night, Wednesday time period. That's coming up this week. Uh, California getting hit with some more rain. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that appears to be the, uh, the story out there for a little bit. That's good. Need more rain? I'm not quite uh, done with it, so... I say bring it on. As uh, far as any uh, major close approach asteroids here, take a look here from the NASA, the JPL site. Stand by for a second. Uh, shows us, let's see what we got here real quick. Not a whole lot. Everything uh, a couple millions of miles away. We got this one here, 41 foot bus size asteroid. But even then, that's still pretty safe there, folks. So. Uh, hope everyone has a good day. Enjoy.
the rest of your weekend, and we will chat at you guys a little bit later on this evening. Have a good one. Have a good night, guys. Day. <laughs> it's a good. It's, it's a good day. <laughs> it's sunny out here for now. Mm -hmm. All right, take care, folks.